Hello, I'm Dr. Deneen Gus, Monterey County Superintendent of Schools. This Saturday, September 11th, marks the 20th anniversary of the tragedies that occurred on September 11, 2001, a day that forever changed the world as we knew it. Each year, for the past 20 years, the Monterey County Office of Education team has been observing September 11th, formerly known as Patriot Day, and now known as the National Day of Service and Remembrance. This day transforms the anniversary of 9-11 from a day of tragedy into a day of positive community actions. It helps us remember the victims of the September 11th attacks and honors their ultimate sacrifice by giving back to our community and strengthening the bonds that brought our country together so strongly 20 years ago after these tragic events. As Americans, we're fortunate to have the freedoms we so much enjoy and are thankful to those who help continue to keep us safe, fight for our freedom, and give the ultimate sacrifice for our country. I invite everyone watching this video to take a moment of silence to remember our heroes and encourage everyone to engage in a service-related activity. It could be as simple as volunteering, making a donation to a charity, or finding a simple way to help someone in need. Hello, I'm State Senator Ana Caballero, representing the 12th Senate District. Today, we remember, talk about, and reflect on a day in our nation's history that changed all of us forever. 20 years ago, on September 11th, four airplanes full of fuel, men, women, and children were hijacked, leaving New York City and used as weapons to attack the United States of America. As we know and remember, two planes flew into the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center in New York. One attacked the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia, and one was forced by American patriots to crash in a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania to avoid even greater death and destruction. Thousands of lives were lost in the destruction that followed and families' lives were changed forever. Most of us will never forget the images, reactions, and emotions of that day as the tragedy became seared in our minds and the consciousness of our nation. In the days and months that followed, many things were uncertain. But one thing was clear. This act of violence and hate was no match for the American spirit. We undo evil intentions when we respond with unity, hope, love, and peace. And so on this 20th anniversary day of remembrance, I would like to encourage you to act with compassion, love, and respect. What can you do and where can you serve to make a difference in your community? How can we teach our children through our actions to listen to others, to be kind and caring? Maybe it's as simple as picking up the phone and checking in on families, seniors, or your neighbor. The truth is there is no act of kindness too small to make a lasting impact. On this day of remembrance, commit to make a difference. Together, we can create a world where goodness prevails. Thank you, and may God bless the United States of America. This is a patriotic poem that I wrote, Omnipresent. Birds flying to the sky are rays of light. Clouds that are reflected ray dappled and swirl with the sky. Until all that remained was a perfect baby blue, the same hue as before. A song playing as you sit in an armchair near the sunniest window. The tune of a gentle hum, the laundry machine humming, the rhythmic passing of cars on the street, and the high notes of sirens, the horns, and the shrieks of horror. Dust particles aimlessly float in streaming sunlight that would have caught your eye if you had not closed your blinds. If you scrutinize the shadows, you find proof of its existence everywhere. It leaves a ghost of a touch down your spine, maybe a brush down your arm, to remind you it is omnipresent. Intending to break us down, raining down fragments sharp enough to cut on contact. But we are more unified, more determined. The city has crumbled, but hope seeps through crevices, splits the tightly cemented cracks. Difficulties, the concepts are not hard to see, but we're a nation built on strength to rise up from the ashes with America standing tall. May we continue to remember the tragedy that occurred 20 years ago and keep the memories alive of those who died and those heroes who stepped forth to face the terror. The freedom of our people will never falter. This is what freedom means to me. 
Freedom is the ability to do and speak as I wish without anyone's limitation. For far too many years, I lived the life that others chose for me, a captive of thoughts that were not my own, but I fought my way to freedom. On the road to self-discovery, and I'll fiercely guard this liberty of soul, by John Mark Green. Hello, my name is Tony Verretta, and I'm an Army combat veteran, born and raised right here in Monterey County. 9-11, the anniversary of 9-11, is the anniversary of remembrance and service. It means three things to me. First, it means remembrance, as I said earlier. We can never forget what happened 20 years ago. You'll see it in videos, you'll see it in pictures, it was a tragic day in American history. So many innocent Americans were taken from us, from terrorists. So you can never forget that. And not in a bad way, just know that it was something that happened and, and we have also just to remember their sacrifices that they unwittingly had. The other part is resilience. Resilience is who we are as Americans. Go back in history, whenever certain things happened, we came together, all races, all religions, we came together as one, as Americans, and just became a strong unit in every fashion. We came together and we became stronger. Since 9-11, we have been, and, and in the future, we will be. Thirdly, as a veteran, is gratitude. I want to thank all my fellow veterans who signed up and voluntarily joined all branches of service and went on across the ocean and fought the war on terrorism fought for over 20 years. Many sacrifices were made and a special gratitude to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. And finally, as the 20th anniversary of remembrance and service, I encourage you just to know that service means a lot. Whether it's serving in the military, whether it's serving in the fire department, teacher, scientist, whatever, just serving your country as an American. Service to others is so important. Taking your time, volunteering your time, helping somebody out. At some point, we will all need help from others. So doing that, it's just, it's just a grateful feeling. And we can never, ever forget. Thank you very much.